Good morning, this is Communicative Grammar 2 and today we are going to review some important aspects based on grammar structures. First, the present of be. Sentences have a subject and a verb. As you know, when we are writing or speaking in English, we need to form a grammar structure with these subjects or verbs. The present of be has three forms, am, is, or are. We use the verb be before nouns, adjectives, or prepositional phrases. When we are talking about am, is, or are, you know that it is important to understand the personal pronouns, since all of them not necessarily are related with the first or third singular of personal pronouns. Let's see some examples. My father is from Venezuela. In this case, we are using is because my father is a third person singular. So if I change, for example, my mother is or my friend is, I can use this verb or I can use this part of be because we are talking about a third person. Instead of my father, I can have he or she or it and a complement. When I am saying this second sentence, I'm a teacher, Notice that we are using am. In this case, we use am because this is the first person. Okay. And next, we have another example. He is a singer and they are friends. They are friends. Here, we are using are because this is a plural. And it means that if we change this day by we or, or maybe another one, we have to use are because it depends on singular or plural nouns. But when do we use a negation of B plus not? We use B plus not to make negative statements. In the previous slides, we were analyzing affirmative statements in a very basic way. But we can also use contractions in speaking and informal writing as, for example, am I'm a teacher, I'm an engineer, this is a contraction, which means that instead of saying I am, I can say am with a contraction. She is, she's, his, for example, it's, it's a car, it's a house, she's a singer, or any other way or any other example. And at the end, you can notice that we have their the pronunciation changes a little bit because we don't say they are. When we are saying they are, it means that we are not using a contraction. But please be careful with these contractions because as I have explained here, they are used with informal writing, not in a formal one. For example, if you are writing a paper or a thesis or something that is going to be presented to a public population, you need to be careful and write the correct grammar structures. And it is not uh, mandatory or not, not very good to use these contractions in those kind of writings. But notice that when we are speaking in informal environments especially, we can use these contractions or we use them every day. If you notice the conversations or free speaking, you will understand their use, but Pay attention to the pronunciation of each one of them. So we have here some examples of negatives of B plus not. And notice the first one. She's not a good person. Here I'm using is and not because we are talking about a, a, a woman, she. They are not friends or I'm from friends. I can also say I'm not from friends or I can not or I can use or not contractions in the previous examples. For instance, they are not friends, she's not a good person. The only thing that changes here is the negative because if you are not using a negation, you have to say she is a good person. But in order to do or to transmit a negative sentence, you have to include not after the verb be, which means is, are, or am. As for personal pronouns, I have included here some examples that are related with them. Notice on the right, on your screen, that you have the following personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. 
So in order to use them in clear examples, we are analyzing the first one. David Beckham is a soccer player. Here I'm using is because I'm talking about a third person singular, which is a, a man. Or I can, instead of saying David Beckham, I can say he. David and, and Victoria are rich and famous. In this case, this is a plural. That is why we are using are or here I can say they are rich and famous. So it means that you can use these personal pronouns in order not to say or not to repeat names, for example, because these words used to shorten or they help us to classify sentences or to understand them better. Beckham isn't his favorite soccer player. Notice here that we have a contraction also he's from England but in the previous example we had a negative form of B instead of saying Beckham is not I used a contraction isn't his favorite soccer player or you can use he instead of Beckham notice that personal pronouns can be used in any other in any other sentence especially in writing but be careful about contraction he is from England is another example or I can say it she is or they are from England. David's married to Posh Spice. Here, notice this. This is very important because it says that we can also use contractions with names, not necessarily with personal pronouns. So if I had used here Victoria's married to David Beckham, it is also a correct sentence. But everything depends on the use of contractions and on the correct use of am, is, or are, depending on singular or plural nouns. As for yes, no questions, remember that yes, no questions can be used in any tense, for example, in the present tense, in the past tense, or with any other grammar structure. In yes, no questions with be, a form of be comes before the subject. This is a very important rule because you need to notice that we use short answers when talking about yes, no questions, and that long answers or any other phrase are used when you are not so sure about the answer that you have to give to any person. So we will notice some examples, but pay attention to these explanations in order to understand them. Let's see the first one. Am I late for class? In this case, no, you are not. Notice here that in order to, an to answer these kind of questions, you use a short answer, no, comma, plus you are not, the negative way. Are they new here? Yes, they are. It is not necessary to repeat, for example, here, yes, they are new here. These explanations are not common in English because the grammar structure says that we use a short form even if it is a negative or an affirmative answer, or yes, I think so. In the previous slide, in the previous slide, we, we were noticing that long answers or other phrases can be used when you are not sure about them. So here, remember this. This is very important. Where, when you don't know an answer or you are not clear about what you need to answer, it is not so common to, to try to repeat the structure that, is, that appears in the question. For example, here, when you say in this one, are they new here? If you say, for example, they are not, they are not in, they are not from Loja, they are from Quito, for example. It means that you are not sure about the answer. And that is all about this presentation.